This year, I'm about to fulfill one of my biggest dreams in life, and that is to join a cross-country rally raid. I'm not doing this alone. I'm teaming up with my really good friend, Jeroen. We share a big passion for cars, and we have shared a lot of experiences working on cars and traveling around. His experience with Porsche and mechanics and my experience with off-road driving is the ultimate combo. We will be switching seats in the rally, so we'll both be driving and both be navigating. With Foxy Landy, I've traveled all over the Icelandic Highlands, gaining loads of off-road experience, pushing the limits of what that car can do. She was modified for extreme off-road, but it's not really a rally car. It's more of an exploring type of car. I had to find something that was a better fit. So I got my hands on a Porsche 955 Cayenne S with a 4.5 liter V8. This car is an extremely capable off-roader. It's completely underrated. That's probably because of the soccer moms and the fancy boys that want to drive a Porsche with a lot of seats. But uh, I think this is a really good fit for the job. We already lifted the car, put bigger tires on it and rerouted some coolant lines to make space for those big tires and make sure that we're not gonna damage them in the rally. We're also gonna add tubular bumpers, a roof rack, and a bunch of small accessories, some styling elements, some stickers, some sponsors, who knows. Um, so this is not the final look. We're gonna go more for an expedition style rally look for the car. So we'll be joining the Tunisian Desert Challenge. This is Africa's biggest and most beautiful cross-country rally rate. It goes through areas that the Parida car rally used to go to back in the days. It's an eight day event and there is around like a thousand participants joining. Uh, this includes drivers and mechanics. It's a whole big event moving through the desert uh, for eight days. This is our first experience with a rally. So we'll be joining the non-competitive part. So there's no uh, racing against the clock but we will be joining at least 70% of the tracks of the competitive part and we'll be driving amongst the drivers. We just have to get out of the way if they are nearby, but we get like devices with us that warn us if any of the uh, competitive drivers are around. Of course, we'll be documenting everything from beginning to end uh, through photo, video, social media, any type of story of prepping the car, getting it over there, uh, blasting through the dunes, possibly breaking down in the sand or getting stuck, repairs on the car uh, along the way, and any type of behind the scenes of what it's like to drive a rally or be part of a rally. And we hope to get to the finish line, of course, but uh, this is something new for both of us. So we don't know exactly what's uh, coming at us, but I think it's definitely going to be a very interesting journey to follow along.